Hi Cancer, welcome to your Love Connection reading for the month of January. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. You're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Can you believe we're in January already? Can you believe that? So this will be out before Christmas, so Merry Early Christmas and Happy New Year. So let's see what's going on for Cancer in Love. This is a Love Connection reading Cancer, so you have to have an actual connection with somebody. You don't necessarily have to be committed or exclusive but you have to feel like you and your person knows there's some sort of connection there. So if you uh, like somebody and they don't know who you are, you may want to watch the singles reading that I do every month. So that may be a reading more for you uh, who's coming towards you. So let's see what's going on for Cancer in this Love Connection reading for January 2020. Welcome, welcome. Hope everybody's doing well. All right, for Cancer. This is a Zodiac Oracle deck, so we'll get a sign. If you don't resonate with the sign, you get a sign, element, or planet. If you don't um, resonate with what comes out here, totally fine. So let's see what we have. Saturn. This is Capricorn energy. So some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. If not, that is totally fine. And this energy is all about um, ambition, goals, security, lessons, and challenges. So... We'll see how that plays into your reading. So let's see. And the Capricorn does represent the devil and um, the tarot, but that may not mean anything. So I don't know. I just thought of that. So, all right. So let's see. The first thing I'm going to do, uh, Cancer, if you're not familiar with my readings, is I'm going to pull an overall love energy between you and your person. And then I will pull one of these also for you and one for your person about how you are both feeling about each other and the connection. And then we'll clarify even more with the tarot, get some extra messages with this oracle here. So all the decks are listed below if you're interested in uh, what my decks are. A lot of information down there in the description box. You can check that out, how to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, social media. I do readings on Instagram, tons of stuff down there. All right, so Cancer, let's see what... Okay, that one. What is the overall energy between you and your person for this time? So we have three take the lead, and I do believe this is the three of wands energy. So the three of wands energy is about, um, can be, in, you know, that's fire energy. That can be about, you know, seeing your goal or your person out in the future, out in the distance, but for some reason it may not be the right time right now. So it's like a period of, patiently waiting for the right time to take the lead, to take the first step. Could be you or your person. So somebody may be needing to, and we I do see the three here. So, I mean, with the three of wands, I don't usually get third party, but if somebody has to leave something else behind before they can come to you and take that first step and take the lead in the connection, that may be what they have to do. So we'll see how that... Um, plays in. If it's not that, somebody could just be kind of dragging their feet and not really making the first move. And the other one's waiting for them to make the first move. So we'll see what comes out of here. So the first thing I'll do is get, um, well, the second thing. One for you, one for your person. I'm going to call this side you uh, cancer and this side your person, but if you feel at any time during this reading the energy is reversed, uh, you can switch the energies any time throughout this reading if you say no. Nope, that's my person. This is me. Then please do that. All right. So, oh, move. We got, <laughs> that's your energy. Wow. Seven of, nope, that's the chariot. That's your energy. That's cancer. So you want things to move forward very quickly. That's about moving ahead quickly. It's like someone's waiting for any, someone to take charge, take the lead, to move forward, move this connection forward. And somebody just wants it already to like move forward. Like, can we just move this forward already? Nope, oh, that's two. I'm gonna take that one. And the other one ha here has balance. So see, so yeah, someone's trying to balance out their energy. Um, this is Sagittarius, so you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. So we did have fire um, over here. So yeah, someone's trying to find their balance here. You know, this is all about peace, harmony, balance, patience. Like, you want it to move very quickly. Like, can we just do this already? And then the one's like, please have patience. You know, I'm trying to balance out energies, you know, find their inner peace, their balance. Um, but usually the balance card is temperance, 
on a regular uh, tarot, and it usually shows the temperance angel. Temperance angel usually brings the soulmates together. Your person may be trying to leave behind toxic energy, no longer serving them. With the Saturn is the, that Capricorn devil energy. Um, so that they can move forward with you, but it may not be just the right time yet. So there may be a little more of patiently waiting. Unfortunately, as as you know, as much as you want this to like just move forward already. Um, but I do see you no know, movement forward with success, balance, uh, kind of energy. But I think it's just not the right time yet. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. And we have sadness and isolation. So this is the Three of Swords energy, exactly. So, you know, the Three of Swords can talk about a third-party situation. Not, maybe they didn't have you in a third-party situation. Maybe, you know, you're friends and you do like each other, but that's as far as it went, you know. And they're like, well, I have to leave the situation before we can go further. So there, that's why there's waiting. And, you know, but one person is just ready, ready for it to move ahead already. And the other person's like, please have patience while things balance out for me. And the other person here is feeling, you know, that hurt, sadness, and isolation from that energy. So let's clarify things with the tarot. So if you're new Cancer and you like how I read, you know, you can check out my channel. You can check out what I have to offer. I do four different readings a month uh, for all the signs. I do bonus readings for the elements. I do... Um, bonus rings for all the signs in one uh, reading. I do a lot of stuff. You can check out my channel if you like what you see. Please feel free to subscribe, like, share, comment. Love to read the comments. Um, hit the bell. You'll be notified and you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you. Thank you so much. That's too many. So why does Cancer... Cancer is in their own energy. Cancer, Cancer. <laughs> all right. So can we clarify this chariot over here so we have the six of pentacles right <laughs> so and this is balance wow so this is earth energy now so yeah balance really you're really wanting this to move forward in a very balanced energy the chariot moves forward with a lot of drive ambition uh energy but balance and also is very successful so you want this to move forward very successfully with a lot of drive ambition passion and balance so that's what you're wanting and we got balance over here. So you both want balance. So let's see um, your person. Your person, please. That one. King of Cups. So, yeah, they're definitely somebody here all up in their feels. Definitely has a lot of love and emotion for you. They're definitely in love with you. And they want this with you. But there's things they have to balance out first. That's water energy. So if they're not a Sagittarius, it could be water. Um, I'll go over at the end the major arcana and the court cards as for signs. So we're not getting too confused with every single card, every single sign. So yeah, somebody King of Cups definitely has love, emotions, feelings. They may, may not be able to tell you how they truly feel right now because they're still stuck in a situation they're trying to get out of. Uh, whether it's a marriage or a long-term commitment or something like that. Because the King, King of Cups does have love, emotions, and feelings, but sometimes they don't verbalize that. They may show you, but they don't really sometimes tell you. Or he, they just can't tell you right now because they're still stuck in that situation and they can't express how they feel right now till they're free of that energy. All right, so let's clarify over here for you, Cancer, um, this balance for Cancer, please. Yeah, the Nine of Wands here. So it's like you're just seeing things in black and white. Now this deck, the Tattoo Tarot, has, um, there's only two cards there are two of. One is the Nine of Wands, and one's black and white, and one's colored. Then there's another one too. I don't remember what it is. It's black and white and colored. So it's like you're just seeing things in black and white right now. But the Nine of Wands, is also that fire energy, is about being the wounded warrior, the battered soldier. Um, they've been through it but somehow they still manage to fight on. So, yeah, you don't want to give up on them because this is not giving up. This Nine of Wands does not give up. So even though you might have been through it with this person, um, it might not have been bad. It's just that, you know, you feel so strongly with this person. You just want to be with them already. It's just really with, you know, sadness and isolation over here, really hurting your heart. So all that hurt and sadness from not being with them is really, like, beating you up here. And... Um, Soon, you know, things will come through in color here. Right now, it's just like black and white. 
but it's also not to give up. So you don't want to give up on them, I feel. So let's see your person here, full of all this love and energy with the King of Cups. They have this big old cup here in the middle to give to you, and their heart is overflowing, but they just can't right now. Oh boy, Cancer. Okay. Knight of Cups. So we got the Knight and the King. So right now they may just be in a Knight energy, uh, just kind of, you know, flighty in and out. Uh, you know, just, you know, they only talk to you when they can. They come forward to you when they can. It's nothing st steady or stable yet because they're trying to get out of that energy. So right now they may just be in that night energy, but they do have the energy of the king, which is good. So, all right. They do definitely do want to tell you, because I had said sometimes the king doesn't really tell you how they feel, but the knight of cups, well, they move forward in action, like with a love offer, they come forward in that action. So they may show you how they feel about you, um, but not really tell you, or they just can't right now. Let's see what the actual situation is. So we have the world. So earth energy here. So you're ready. You're ready to um, start a whole new world with this person. Ready. It's about closing out chapters, the start of new chapters. And my cards fell on the floor. So let's see what we have here. Oh, we got two cards in reverse. So, oh, look, it came out. It came out. <laughs> I said there's two, and now it came out in reverse. So, wow. So, yeah, you won't have to struggle so much. The actual situation is not struggling so much in this situation. And we do have the seven of wands, but that came out in reverse also. So, the you know, seven of wands is about having up, you know, a wall, a defense, a guard. So they, they're going to let down their guard pretty soon. I think they're almost at the end of this completion, whatever they're going through. Um, yeah, there's, I just noticed here, yeah, there's two threes here. So they're almost at, they're almost closing out this chapter because this is closing out cycles and new cycles starting. They're almost there. I don't feel like they're there yet. But, you know, this nine of wands in the middle is like not having to struggle or fight so much. Closing a chapter, new chapter starting and not having to uh, have a wall up so much anymore. And that's on their side. So they're ready to drop down their guard, drop down their walls, tell you how they feel. They want to be with you. They want to take that action towards you. There's not going to be so much struggle anymore between the two of you. I see like a whole new world starting with this person. And I did say things will go from black and white to color. Here's the color in reverse, which is good, is it won't be so much of a struggle anymore, I'm feeling. Wow, I'm excited for you, Cancer. All right, and remember, I can also pick up on uh, past, present, or future energy. So if you feel like, well, this is my person now, and this is just, you know, what we just been through, then that could be it also. So let's clarify. Uh, I got the Five of Wands here, and that's about in the Nine of Swords. So the Five of Wands is about uh, competition. It can be about um, conflict. So... And then we have the Nine of Swords, which is about stress, worry, anxiety, fears. Uh, they may fear while you wait, you know, while there's this period of waiting here. They may fear um, there may be competition. They may lose you or you may, um, that you may, you know, turn your attention elsewhere. I don't think you'll do that, but for some reason they may have that thought in their head that, you know, with that five of wands can be about competition, people vying for your competition. Maybe you get a lot of attention and they're stressed and worried about that because, you know, this is period of waiting. But I do feel like with the world here, this chapter, it's just about to close for them and then there'll be a coming together where it's not so much of a fight and struggle and all the walls and defenses will be let down, will be dropped. No longer having to block the connection is also what I'm getting. Wow, okay, so let's see. Wow, nice energy. I'm feeling like a very relieving energy, like soon. Um, very relieving energy. It may be by March that you guys will be able to be together because I have two threes here We're going into the new year. All right, so let's see. Let's see what your advice is. So we have, oh, we have the Five of Cups. And the page of wands. So yeah, 
So the Five of Cups is about sadness, loss, uh, hurt kind of energy. And then we got the Page of Wands, which is good news coming in. Uh, very fiery, passionate communication. So I feel like as sad as you may be, as lonely as you may be, as worried, hurt, because you can't be together, I, f I feel like don't give up because this good news will be coming in, fiery, passionate communication coming in, and the good news saying, look, uh, <laughs> this chapter's closed out and now I'm ready to move forward. You know, this person, I, I just want to say I love you. This person is like so emotional and like so in love with you i can just feel it and they just can't wait wow and they just can't wait to be with you wow okay cancer all right so let's get a couple more to clarify your advice here the five of cups wow okay so <laughs> we have We have a seven of swords, so that's kind of like a deceitful, hurtful energy, like people being sneaky, sneaking away. But then we have the ace of cups, which is um, brand new beginning in love, love and emotions overflowing. So definitely here, there is a brand new beginning in love here coming. And you may feel so sad and lonely because you can't be with them that you know what the page of wands is like that fiery communication you may just like want to rush to them and tell them hey let's sneak away let's you know can we do something here to be together you know even if it's for a weekend a night you know um you know can we do that but i don't i don't know if you want to get in that energy uh because it may turn it may not be a good idea is what i'm getting with that seven of um swords energy i feel like a very conflicting like really like tired energy like just of being without them and having all that conflict mental conflict should i tell them can we just sneak away for a weekend can we sneak away for a night or something like that so we can be together i'm just so sad and lonely without you and ready to share that love that love that emotions overflowing with the ace of cups uh, that's your advice i mean i wouldn't advise that but uh i don't know <laughs> So, you know what? Let's clarify these seven of swords. Why is that here for cancer? Why is the queen of pentacles? Yeah, the queen of pentacles is someone who is very stable, nurturing, caring, and giving, practical, smart, analytical. Yeah, so I think the smart thing to do would be not to get in that energy, just to try to remain, you know, stable and grounded. Um through all this energy that you may be feeling, um, you know, just to try, try to stay practical and stable. All right. So let's see, let's see what your possible outcome will be with this connection spirit, please. Thank you so much to a sword. So we have indecisiveness here. So you know, can't make a decision, don't know what to do, being indecisive, blind to making a decision. So why is that here for your possible outcome? Hmm. Somebody undecided about something here. <laughs> the Ten of Cups, total fulfillment, joy, happiness with your person, happy home and family, happiness and joy in every single way, fulfillment in every single way. And the King of Pe wow, we have a matching couple. We have the King and Queen of Pentacles energy here is definitely soulmate energy here so i feel like and that's that practical um stable grounded energy so i feel like you you maybe just be feeling uncertain like what's going to happen here with this connection i just don't know i don't know anymore but i think everything's going to be fine i do see soulmate energy i do feel like a, a lot of love and emotions between the two of you happiness and joy fulfillment there so don't get too caught up in that two of swords energy of like, just like, I don't know what's going to happen. Are they going to choose me? Are they going to come back to me? I think they will. It's just not the right time right now. And we got the magician. Yeah, they're manifesting a brand new beginning to be with you. I definitely feel that. Yep. And the moon. So you don't know that. You don't. You can't see that with the moon energy. You can't see all things clearly in the moonlight. So you, you can't see that. You don't know that. You don't know the outcome yet, but they are manifesting a brand new beginning to be with you. 
So we have the Four of Swords energy. So a lot of healing, resting, contemplating, thinking energy, uh, time apart, I feel here, because usually it's a very uh, reclusive energy, the Four of Swords, you know. And the Nine of Pentacles. So yes, yeah, someone trying to no, the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, people having to hold back right now can't really truly express themselves because of the situation. But action, taking uh, passionate, fiery action, movement forward here. Fast-paced action. So once they're free, yeah, fr it could be divorce here. Once they're free and justice has been served, they'll be taking fiery, fiery, passionate action towards you. They just can't right now with this these two fours right here. Can't right now. Holding back for now. You can't see what's going to happen, but they are manifesting this new beginning to be with you. Wow. Cancer. So for the signs here, we do have, um, with the magician, we have Gemini and Virgo. We have Cancer Pisces. Um, we have Libra with Justice there. And then we have your energy here, Cancer. We have Sagittarius. We have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Uh, the world is Earth and uh, fixed signs. Oh, I'm not too sure of the fixed signs. So those are the signs I see. All right. So let's get another message here with, for you with this oracle. All right. This oracle here. Oops. What do we have for cancer? Oh, okay. <laughs> and we have soul journey. So I definitely feel like this has been a journey between the two of you. Nine here, you know, as again, that wounded warrior, wishes and dreams coming true, um, stress, anxiety, uh, being stable and grounded and independent energy also. So I just feel like soulmate energy here. It's just going to, has been quite a journey. I feel between the two of you. That's what I'm feeling with that. All right, so, wow. Let me just take the top one. Let's see what we have here. Authentic truth. So, again, I think I just got this for the uh, last reading I did. You know, coming together here with truth and being authentic with one another. Being very truthful and honest about how you feel, your emotions, what's been going on behind the scenes. So, we have here uh, variants, 39. So we do have nine there, and then we have four over here, which is about stability, foundation. And then we have 39 here, which is 12, which is three, is about uh, working together, teamwork. So we have do have variants here. So this is about change. Um, I mean, that talks like about variety, which, but you may just have to change your perspective on this. You may be seeing things in black and white, white right now. You don't know everything going on behind the scenes. You don't know, you know what they're going through. Maybe they can't tell you. Uh, but the variance there is just keep your, you know, mind open to the whole scene, the whole perspective, and, uh, like, get a whole variance on this whole picture. Wow. Okay. Uh, cancer. Wow. Quite a reading for you. So I do see um, soulmates coming together here. So best of luck to you. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.